Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. The ancient site of Bonkuklu Tala in modern Turkey is rewriting history and experts are now sure it's even older than Gebekli Tepe. Like many of the truly ancient sites in Turkey, this site was also buried beneath a mound and finds date from the Epi-Paleolithic period through to the late Pre-Pottery Neolithic B. Incredibly, nearly 30 houses, 6 public structures, as well as skeletons of 130 individuals have been discovered. Reports say that more than 100,000 beads, as well as a temple that's older than Gebekli Tepe, have also been uncovered. What sets this site apart from the other Tepe sites, which are generally located around the Haran Plain in the west, is that it covers more phases of history. The late Epi-Paleolithic, the pre-Pottery Neolithic A and B, covering a real transitional phase of ancient history during and after the Younger Dryas. Talking about this site to the media, Dr. Ergul Kodas said, Many architectural structures remain. Silo structures, houses, private buildings, public buildings, many skeletons, archaeobotanical remains as well as ornaments. These include beads. Interestingly, some of the beads are made of raw copper and do seem to have a special importance. The structure that's been described as a temple has a 10 meter wide diameter and was given a ceremonial interpretation because of a number of discoveries including steely or monolithic pillars, altars, hearths and bull schools, which look to have been deliberately placed inside. This is reminiscent of the sacred bull building of the later site of Chatelhoyuk. The temple has a unique architectural style, shape and interior, and the experts say there is no other place quite like it, and it does date back to 12,000 years ago, earlier than the incredible site of Gebekli Tepe, which does share a number of similarities with this earlier temple. The site is partly built from limestone blocks and partly cut from the limestone bedrock. A wall was then built around it, making it a taller structure, and this wall was supported by buttresses, mainly seen on the west side. These buttresses belong to the pre-pottery Neolithic A, and are the only example found from this time. Columns inside were raised symmetrically opposite the buttresses, columns or pillars that are similar in style to those at Gebekli Tepe and other Tepe sites. The experts were able to say that these pillars did likely have religious importance because they did not support the roof of the structure. They also noted that the entire settlement is shaped around this temple. Interestingly, the temple has a round stone window as well, making it the oldest known window ever discovered. Excavations of the wider area actually started in 2012 and the site does have finds that are at least 1,000 years older than Gebekli Tepe. The scale of these ancient finds actually make it more like a small city than a village, and this could well be one of the most important archaeological sites ever discovered. The experts believe that Bonkuklu Tala is just the tip of the iceberg, and a vast settlement will be uncovered in time, because, as one official said, History is pouring out from everywhere in Mardin. This is an incredibly important discovery and implies that the cradle of civilization is actually further east than Gebekli Tepe, San Lierfa and Karahan Tepe. Are we seeing evidence of ancient civilized people moving from east to west, taking their knowledge and culture into the Fertile Crescent during and after the Younger Dryas? I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot more about Bonkuklu Tala in the future, and I'll report everything here on Ancient Architects. Thank you for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.